All right, team, how are we doing? This is Coach Dana Cavalier coming at you with the Becoming a Champion show, where we are all about inspiration, motivation, and encouragement to move you along your high performance journey. And this message today, I've been thinking a lot about. And, and the reason why it's important to me is because we all need to do it. And, and that it is step up. We have to step up. Now, where do I step up, coach? Where are you talking about me stepping up? And listen, it varies for everybody. For each person, it's different. Now, I want to start by talking to the men out there specifically. I think men today need to step up. I think men today need to get a bit tougher. I think men today need to start taking responsibility for everything that is in front of them. Now, I also have a message for women. I think women need to step up. I think they also need to take responsibility for their life and for what is in front of them and for what it is that they want to do and for the life that they want to build, wish to build, and desire to live. So now that I have that out there and I have your attention, I want to talk to you because, you know, there's a lot of social pressure out there today as to who you should be, how you should live, how you should go about your business, what you should do, what you should put first, what you need to be before you can do or become something else. Message to women, before I can have children, before I can start a family, I can't do that if I want to work. I can't be a professional and have a family at the same time. That's a social pressure that's not true. That's being pushed onto you. You're believing it, and as a result, you're acting accordingly. That, to me, equals not stepping up. Men, you have your own issues. We have our own issues. And a lot of those issues are not stepping up, not saying, hey, you know what? I've been working really hard, really grinding it out. And I've been sacrificing things that I should really put in the first position, like my health, like strengthening my mindset and mentality and improving my own personal mindfulness and stress navigation, like my family, like taking time for my wife to sit down and talk rather than coexist with the person in which I inhabit the house with and manage my children with. We have to step up. We also have to step up and have big conversations, big boy and big girl conversations. See, a lot of people I come across and coach, I call them big game talkers, big game talkers. Look at me, look what I've done, look at my achievements, aren't I great? But they don't have the courage or the guts to go have the conversation that matters with their leader, with a, maybe a key person on their board, Maybe a key decision maker employee, maybe their wife, maybe their husband, maybe their children. That means you have to step up. You see, there are places in your life where you can step up, but in order to step up, you got to have courage. You have to have a deep self-belief. You have to have a compass and a North star that keeps you centered, grounded, that keeps your values and your character in first place. You see, socially, you can be pulled left, pulled right, pulled up, pulled down. I'm all about creating power and strength within you, building your inner champion. And an inner champion says, listen, that's great what society says. Here's what I believe. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I stand for. That's great what social norms present. I don't subscribe to that. That's not me. That's not who I am. That's not how I was raised. That, most importantly, is not what I believe. And because I don't believe that, I'm not going to do that. This is how I am going to live my life. And that's what I want all of you to take away from today's message. I'm very passionate about this because I truly believe how you think will determine how you behave. And how you behave will determine your outcomes in life. Bad thoughts, bad behaviors, bad outcomes, not being a champion. I need you to be champions, which means I need you to align 
your thoughts with your behaviors, which in turn will give you your desired outcome. So think, think about your life. Where are you not stepping up? What are the things that you're not doing that you're semi committed to where you're talking about them, but you're not being about them. You're interested, but you're not committed. Are you somebody that keeps talking about the diet that keeps talking about going to the gym that keeps talking about the workout you have to do the 10 pounds you have to lose the increased muscle tone you want to add? Are you somebody that's talking about it or are you stepping up? Are you somebody that constantly avoids conflict? Somebody that's constantly speaking to please a crowd and nobody knows what you believe. Are you that person? Are you somebody that takes the easy road because it's easy and there's not any conflict on the easy road? What if I told you that's costing you? You have to step up. And when you step up, other people may step out, but you have to have the confidence to step up, step into what you believe, step up and step into what it is that you stand for, step up and step into a challenge that sits in front of you, step up and step into a situation that you may not yet be prepared for, but you're prepared to step up and step into that situation. That's the biggest difference between winners and losers in life. Winners are always stepping up and stepping into Losers are always finding ways to step back and step out of, and we can't have that. And you see it in workplaces, you see it in sports teams, you see it politically, you see it all over the place. Just people everywhere, not stepping up, following the crowd, doing what is being socially put onto them because it's easier. That's the equivalent of stepping back and stepping out rather than stepping in and stepping up. Stop looking for the right way. Start finding your way. Start finding the way that works for you based on your characters, based on your values, and based on what you stand for. And if you don't know what you stand for because it's been so long, start simply. Take a first step towards something and ask yourself, does this feel right or does this feel wrong? Because I see so many folks that don't know the difference anymore between right and wrong, between black and white. They're always looking for gray. And if you're going to live in the gray area, your life is going to mimic that, to mock that, to replicate that. The mirror in which you look at is going to show gray back. So you must step up. You must step in. You must get tough. You must not always embrace societal pressure. You must always embrace who you are and what you stand for and what you're all about. And that's how you build legacy. That's how you build your own character. And most importantly, that's how you become what I call a champion leader. You're courageous. You have guts. You are not looking for applause. You're not looking for external validation because you're internally motivated. You're strong. You believe in yourself. You're confident. You execute on what it is you say. And if you can't execute on what you say, you don't say it. You always take action. You're not procrastinator. You don't sit on the sideline and wait. You take action. You grab the ball. You play offense. You always step up. That's what today's about. Where in your life are you not stepping up? Where do you need to step up? And what, most importantly, do you need to step out of in order to step into something that's better, better for you? These are the questions that I need you to ask yourself. So today, step up, step up. No more excuses. We can't have them. We have 73 days left in 2020. You must step up and step into in order to win. This is Coach Dana Cavalia. I hope you enjoyed today's message. I know it's a strong one. It's a bold one, but I'm stepping in to this show and I'm stepping into the lives of each of you because I want you to be champions and I want you to live a life that is filled with reward because you're no longer worried about what anybody else thinks. So again, I always appreciate you helping me build this team of champions by spreading the message, sharing the message and pushing the message to people that you believe in your family, on your team, in your company that would benefit from hearing a message like this. 
Remember, step up. This is Coach Dana Cavalier. See ya.